even Shakespeare, to be or not, <laughs> to be, whether it's noble or to suffer, slings and arrows. <laughs> I'm Robin Williams, and welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm here with John Travolta and my man Seth Green to talk about our new movie, Old Dogs, or in Espanol, Los Perros Viejos. We're going to ask each other some of your questions as well as some of our own. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I'm going to start with the first question. Let's go. Let's hear it. All right, Robin, it's for you. Did you draw on any of your experiences with your children, your own children, for your role as Dan, the clueless father? Yes, I've had some interesting experiences. Thank you very much. Like <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! That's, that was concise. And concise. Moving on. And that'll be the last concise answer we ever <laughs> <laughs> Did you remember that? Yeah, my kids, I remember them. They know me. I remember once I was reading a story to Zelda, and it kind of parallels this when I was reading it to her and I was doing voices, and she literally said, don't do the voices, just stick with the story. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you. But it was that thing of just being so honest, like Ella was with me, just like, don't do that, you know? Oh. And playing and doing that kind of role-playing stuff where you do play the characters, and that's great, but back off on it. Zelda would literally go, too much. It's a little too big. <laughs> yeah, a little big. Bring it back. Bring it back. You're scaring me. Very this good. is not right. John, your character Charlie is quite the ladies' man. Back in your single days, what was your favorite pickup line? I don't remember. Ask Robin. <laughs> Robin, back in your single days, what was your favorite pickup line? Oh, no, where do you I live? <laughs> no, my favorite pickup line was, do, do I know you? Oh, wow. That's I funny. borrowed that from Warren Beatty. That's a good one. <laughs> do I know you? Of course. I mean, it's a... Oh, that's one of because yeah. people go like, really? <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite. My favorite pickup line is, so you're breathing. <laughs> that was like, especially when I was drinking. Hi. <laughs> uh, where do you live? And you're alive. You look mostly receptive to my advances. <laughs> my, Don't seem to have a weapon. Yeah. Do you mind hairy guys? I, one of my favorite uh, shutdown lines, because yes. we I was talking to some girls about the worst pickup lines, and this girl said that her favorite shutdown line yes. would be like, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Susan. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just... I've oh, never heard anything. What kind of guy tries to pick up a girl with well, a... No, no, it's a girl. Like, a guy comes up and he's like, hey, what's up? I just want to know if I can buy you a drink. you like, what's your name? Dave. <laughs> off, Dave. Oh. Your wife, Kelly Preston, plays my love interest. Have you ever been jealous of one of her co-stars? Yes. Really? Many. Any names that you could say? Yes. Oh. I didn't like her making love to Tom Cruise and um, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> I didn't like her making love to, uh, um, in uh, Love of the Game, um, Kevin, Costner. Kevin Costner. I didn't, um, she's, well, she's had like pretty, you know. Dude. He's a beautiful lady, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you know, that was hard to watch. And Thank you're okay God for Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going like, but you were okay with me. <laughs> the little hairy boy. That's I trust you, my man. You're not jealous of me. Do you me. think it had to do Damn with the fact that you, guys are such that you guys are such long friends? Though? Big time. Does that make it any of course, easier? I 30 adore. years ago, man. I mean, been. I genuinely love and adore Robin. And and it's also weird because it's so we, we would kind of, like, starting 30 years ago, we crashed a black wedding. We got, oh, this was 30 years ago. We got. We were a little happy, as in having a couple of cocktails. And there was a, in Santa Barbara. In those was, days, they called them cocktails. Cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> in these days, they call it whatever you got. But and we crashed this wedding, and all of a sudden, you could see this black couple go, "My God, it's Vinnie Barbarino and Mark!" That and all of a sudden, the night so was on, shocking. and it was pretty crazy. I think we closed the place. Did they think you guys were impersonators? Did they no, know? no, no, no. no. I just we think they thought we were drunk, and, and they, they thought they were lucky mm -hmm. because we were. And it was I mean, imagine you, if they had to hire us to be in a wedding like that. Yeah, that would have been pretty pricey. That'd be Crazy, and pricey, even yeah. in those pricey, days. yeah. Back in then, to say dance with Mork, how much would that be? <laughs> wow, get real. What would you like to parody next on Robot Chicken, and who would be your dream celebrity guest? Well, um, you know, the, the jokes that we come up with on the show are just based on like a long writing period, so usually, whatever's happening in pop culture or whatever um, toy property we have insight about becomes what we're, what we're parodying. But as far as uh, guest stars go, um, I'd be happy to make you both scale offers Ooh. to come and perform on scale. our sponsored 15-minute uh, basic cable program. Scale. Pretty good, Robin. Scale. Not afraid. He's done that before. 
before. That is I've held out for scale. $140 yeah. that, that you could put on top of the, the enormous piles of money you both have collected in warehouses well, around the country. Well, I'm down to half of that, so God bless you. <laughs> uh, did you have any fear or hesitation getting absolutely stark naked in Central Park in the Fisher King? No, it was weird because for me, I'll get naked at the drop of a hat. Like, but <laughs> Does the anyone have thing, a hat? Yeah, bring it. And because the only thing is, it was so weird. The one thing, it was a cold night, which is my excuse, going, I can't see it. Cold. You can see you guys blowing icy breath out of And I, the only thing I did, which was kind of weird, and Jeff was wonderful. I, you know, I did this thing, I'm naked, and I'm dragging my ass on the grass. <laughs> and I go, join me, Perry. And he's going, no, thanks. <laughs> but it was that weird thing because in, we were shooting in Central Park. There were real homeless, crazy people going, Rabbit! <laughs> Robin! Was, was radio there? No, there was another guy who was this crazy guy who rode around on a bike named Mercury. And he was a homeless guy who rode on a bike going, Robin! And we're doing this scene and I'm naked and I'm going, this is wonderful. Thank Please you. don't take a photo. But no, the great thing was shooting, no, it's not based on Radio Man. It's weird. He th I met him after I did The Fisher King. My favorite scene in The Fisher King was dancing in Grand Central Station. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. And we're shooting in Grand Central Station. And this is a real New York moment. The ADs, it's before we shut down to really get the scene going, so we're kind of trying to close it off. And in the middle of the scene, they're just closing it off, and it's kind of an empty thing. And this guy, heading back to Long Island, just walks through the middle of the set, and they're rolling, and this guy goes, F*** your movie! <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> about your movie! <laughs> and that man is Mayor Bloomberg. <laughs> but he just walked right through the set, like, I'm going home! <laughs> What's your favorite impression to do can you give us a sample? Oh, that's a loaded question. My favorite impression is an impression that you do, and I think you do too. My favorite one is Chris Walken. <laughs> because they once asked Chris, they said, Chris, if you could have anything in the world, what would you like? A tail. <laughs> because you'd know if I was happy, the tail would be up, <laughs> moving around. You could, you do Chris too, you know him. You did a movie with Chris. Yes, Frey. Yes. My Chris, was, my Chris is terrible. My Chris sounds like Jay Moore like, doing Chris. We're back today. Yeah. I'm, I'm here with, with John Travolta and Robin yeah. Williams. Both of them are actors. Yes. <laughs> that, that part got scary. That's what he does. He goes to the high. actors. Yeah, but he also takes out punctuation. Yeah. And separates things these that normally... These sentences don't need to end. They keep going. On. As long yes. as I will keep talking. Yes. You know. Bass suits. He thinks that bass, bass suits, suits are, are funny. funny. <laughs> I was, a friend saw him. He was standing in a puddle. And, and they go, Chris, what are you doing? Today, I'm an alligator. <laughs> and he does stuff. You just go, anything he says works. But he, you know, I, don't you think he just starts saying that? Like he knows the impression that people have of him and he kind of plays into it? Maybe. Maybe. Even Shakespeare, to be or not, <laughs> to be, whether it's noble or to suffer, slings and arrows. <laughs> What's the one line that fans quote to you the most? There's a, uh, oh, there was one from Get Shorty for years that, uh, look at me, that was, that was quoted quite a and bit. And people just come up and say, look at me. Look at me. I'm the one telling you like it is, you know, that one. Wow. I quote um, you from Get Shorty every time somebody asks me what my dream role is. And I tell them, well, I don't really have aspirations to do something specific like pray, play the crippled gay guy that climbed Mount Baldy. I'm just... <laughs> that's a great character, though. That, but that's, I'm almost there! <laughs> I'm gonna make it! <laughs> a crippled gay female impersonator. <laughs> what are you doing? Get to the mountaintop! I've got my wheelchair on my back. And then the hairspray, it was, um, I'm Arn in here. From Baltimore, you know, that Baltimore <laughs> accent. You played some great villains recently. Is that very freeing for you? Because I know how sweet you are as a person, that the idea when you play these basically psychopaths, what is that like for you? You know who, who um, inspired me with that, too, is Cagney, because I knew Cagney oh, man, that's right. for the last five years of his life, too. Yeah. But uh, interestingly enough, um, he was a very sweet man totally. also and, and was great at playing villains and gangsters. Brutal. And, and uh, the thing is, is that gangsters or criminals are, um, are charming people, usually, because yeah. they're pretending to be good guys. Mm. Totally. The better they, the better the criminal, the the better they, or the the more they're pretending to be good guys. And I always use that as a, as a theme, is that I'm fooling you, um, well, you see. Describe your ultimate day off. Oh, that's a good question. A bike ride in the south of France. Mm. That's Ooh. pretty much a wonderful one. Either what? that or Tuscany, Italy. When Let's you ride all bikes. take that question. Let's do it. Johnny, Finish. what would be your no, ultimate No, no, Seth, Seth, I want to know. Yeah, Seth. Um, I like really simple things. I work all the time, and so when I get just uh, even private time or just a time to sit still or 
a time to relax with a friend of mine or, or able to see a movie or have a good meal, like anything that is, that I'm, that I'm able to, to stop the, the constant, you know, mm. flow of thoughts in my mind. That's a, that's a great day off. That's a good one. Johnny? Probably on a Sunday afternoon, getting in a jet and flying off to a far off destination, whining and dining in the back, you know, that wow. kind of thing. Be awesome. It sounds pretty awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Robin, Seth, thank you. Johnny. Thank you, John. Thank you, Robin. Thanks to Movie Phone for all of your questions, watching. And check out our new movie, Old Dogs. Or as I said before in Spanish, Los Perros Viejos. Gracias, sí. amigos. Gracias, amigos. Adios.